Hi there, and welcome to the Modern Tribe Community Events New User Primer. What I'm going to be reviewing in this screencast, which is the first in the series, is the basics of getting the plugin installed and activated and getting your license key plugged in on your WordPress site. Now this is going to be pretty basic, so if you're a more advanced user and want to see exactly how the community plugin itself operates, you may want to skip down the road to one of the future screencasts in this series. We're not going to be going into any of the plugin's functionality here, we're merely going to be getting it installed, activated, and getting the key plugged in. Now I'm assuming that by this point in the process, you have already downloaded and installed the events calendar, the latest release, which as of the recording here is 2.06, and that you have purchased and downloaded the community events add-on from the Tribe website, somewhere easily accessible on your computer, preferably your desktop. Now I'm here on the dashboard of my site, and you'll see that if I go to my plugins list, I don't have any plugins active, but I do have the Events Calendar and Events Calendar Pro installed. It's important to note that if I were to try installing and activating community events before I had activated at least the Events Calendar, it would give me an error telling me that I can't run the plugin without getting events in place first. You can keep it active, but community events won't do anything because it requires the Events Calendar to operate. So what you're probably going to want to do is come in and activate the Events Calendar first. Now it's worth noting that, like the Eventbrite Tickets add-on, this plugin does not require Events Calendar Pro to run. So you could turn on Pro and you get some nice extra features, but Pro is by no means mandatory, so don't feel like you have to buy it just because you want to run community events. It doesn't work that way. I'm going to leave Pro deactivated for the purposes of this screencast, so I'm experiencing it like a free The Events Calendar user would. So I got The Events Calendar active. I'm now going to come up to Plugins, Add New, and actually add the Community plugin. Hit the Upload tab. Pick the file from my desktop, install now, and you'll see pretty much immediately it installs the plugin. If I go back to the plugins list, you'll see now between the events calendar and events calendar pro, I have the events calendar community events as an option, and I'm going to go ahead and activate it. All set so far. Now if I come into the events calendar from settings, go into the licenses tab, you'll see, well, we don't actually have a license key in place for community events. This makes sense because we did just install it. So let's go back over to the Tribe website and snag our license key once again. Here's my downloads page on the Tribe website where I'm logged into my account, but I actually want to go over to Account Central and hit License Keys. I'll come in here, find my community events license, it's not hooked to a site yet, so I know it's ready to go. Copy the entire string of numbers and go back over to the back end of my site. Here I am in this Licenses tab. I'm just going to merely paste what we just copied. Tab out of it so the system can do its thing. And when it checks, you'll see this is a valid key. It lasts for just about another year. So I'm all set with this. I just need to make sure to save my changes. And upon doing so, this key remains in place. If I go back over to my license keys page on the Tribe website, you'll see that that community events has now been linked to the site I'm testing on. Since it was just a local environment, it's going to say localhost, but if you were doing this on a live site, the actual URL of your live site would be in place. So now you're pretty much set. We've activated the plugin. We've got the community events core plugin required to run it. And we've plugged in the license on the license keys page. You're all set and now it's ready to actually get into the functionality. So let's come back to the next screencast in a few moments and review that. 